Okay, I briefly talked about the distance of your putts and getting the proper speed to relate to the distance that the, your putt is. If it's a 15 footer, you know, sometimes we want it to die in the hole. Sometimes you need to hit it a little firmer if you're going uphill so it, it goes into the hole a little bit more speed. Well, something I wish I'd have known in my early travel days, tour days, was I only had one speed to 15 footers. And that was to hit them hard, fast, and if I missed, I went way by. Because I never heard the word dying the putt in the hole. I mean, it barely get there, but it gets there. And I guess that's something that, you know, I learned over time. And that's something I want to share with you, is there are quite a few different speeds the ball can roll in the hole. If it's going too fast, you maybe have experienced them, what we call lipping out, because the speed was just too great. Uh, and if the speed is just right, and you happen to approach the hole on the what we call the pro side, which is going to be the high side, that ball's liable just to fall in. Now, if it's going on the low side, uh, gravity's not going to let it fall in. But so give some thought to the, how far do you want to miss, if you miss, if you miss, how far should the ball go past the hole? I like to say a foot. Okay, this is about a 15 footer, and I'm trying, I'm, I know I'm a little bit downhill, so I want the ball to barely get there. Roll in the hole real, real soft. All right, that's it. That was on the low side. If it had been on the high side, that would have fallen in. 